Well, Sunday morning is a great time to enjoy some time outdoors, and early risers have a chance to have a tail wagging good time with their furry family members at the Desert Botanical Gardens. Something to do that's outside and safe. And that's where we find Team 12's Erica Stapleton, who has the details you need to know if you plan to go. Good morning, Erica. Hey, good morning, Trisha. And people are definitely taking advantage of this. We know that there has been more than 100 pups that have come out today, and it's definitely a great opportunity for people to get outside, but also their four-legged friends, too. We can see some of the dogs around here coming right up here. Look at this. Look how happy their tails are wagging, tongues are out. It's just an all-around good time. But I do want to bring in Dana here. She is with the Botanical Gardens. And Dana, um, how long are these events going to be going on for? We're excited. We have dog days every Wednesday and Sunday from 6 to 9 a.m. all through the month of August. So you can come out, spread out through our beautiful trails, but bring your pups along with you. And this is on Sunday mornings and Wednesdays as well. And we know we're in the time of coronavirus. So what do people know ahead, need to know ahead of time about, you know, reserving their spot and making sure they can come here in a safe way? Absolutely. The most important thing is to make your reservations in advance. Go online. Our reservations are up through Christmas. So go online, book your time spot, and it's free for dogs. And then our masks are required, but we have um, social distancing. We have 50 acres here, 55,000 plants. So spread out amongst our trails. Enjoy a beautiful day and get to bring your pups with you. Yes, and that's certainly what we have been seeing all morning long. Now, Dana, what is it like for you to see people back out here? I know you guys had to shut down for several weeks, like so many other places across the state as we've been dealing with this pandemic, but what's it like for you to see people and their pups out and about? Absolutely. Being closed for 16 weeks was so difficult just on us having um, just such a beautiful venue to invite people back to. So we're excited to invite people back and be able to do it in a safe manner. So we're excited. We have a full list of different programming ideas for um, flashlight nights. We have Sonoran Sippin' and we have Dog's Day. So go online, see what works best for you. But always remember our first and foremost important thing is to keep our visitors safe. So we put those parameters in place. All right. Well, Dana, thank you very much again. We've been out here all morning. We've seen dogs come and go, and there's definitely those socially distant markers out here. So definitely a good activity to get out and do. I know a lot of people have probably been cooped up all summer. So a good thing to take advantage of through the rest of this month. And you can keep checking for updated events as well. I'll send it back to you guys.